Okay. Well, good evening, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Board of Trustees meeting for September 17, 2018. It is 7 o'clock. I'll call the meeting to order. We have our usual suspect for this. I think it's worth mentioning that we're in a different location than normal, and we have a carbon monoxide monitor because in this old station that we have, there is a lower level that should, that is uh, vulnerable to carbon monoxide because of the, of the trucks. Uh, and that's why we need a new station. Part of why we need a new station. Oh, yes. <laughs> this space is vulnerable to carbon monoxide. Tom, um, would you mind closing the bar? Or at least cracking it or something. It's a little distracting with this stuff. Now, it is officially the dungeon. Sorry for interrupting the process. No problem. Off we go. Um, I entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of September 5th. I would make that motion. I will second that motion. Mr. Proctor's moved. Mr. second any further comments regarding those minutes. And hearing none, may we both please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hoster? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. I now entertain a motion to approve payment of bills in the amount of $49,097.97. and Broken down general fund, $3,755.34. Fire fund, $13,446.65. Cemetery, $7,367.80. EMS billing, $5,584.52. Road bridge, $19,943. You are spending the money. That's the money. Go, Dan. Hey. Uh, and capital projects, $2,000. Is there a motion to pay those bills? I would make that motion. I'll second that. Mr. Crockett moved. Mr. Uh, uh, oh, I don't have the motion. Hollister. Hollister is seconded. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I left something upstairs, but I can do it kind of from memory. Well, seems I, like your memory's coming to you right now. It's, coming, it is. it's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed on the uh, U.S. Bank uh, set of uh -huh. receipts. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, $68.75 total sales tax that has been paid. Um, From what? The fire department uh, purchases over the last period. What? $68? $68, yeah. No way. Yes, way. Well, we'll no. have to review that yeah, because the, the total bill was only. Amazon, and you could have Amazon you could have gotten a uh, an exemption from Mills Park just could have given them the form, but they had to pay the eighteen dollars in tax from that. Do they sell charge the sales tax? Because they won't waive sales tax. They won't waive lodging tax. They can't do that. They charge the sales tax. That bastard. Um, I can get that backed off. That's easy. Danny bought something from somewhere with eighteen dollars worth of tax on it. Oh my gosh. Uh, a download of something. Uh, oh. National. Oh, that's the credit. That's on that credit card. No. There's credit. $18 on oh, there. Yeah, they credited me back. <laughs> yeah, was it, all was of this up? came up when my name came up. So what was going on? Well, I think Don Hollister, I think sales tax. <laughs> and a couple little things. So Some of those we can get backed off, that's not a problem. So. Yeah, I mean, there's an office depot for you know, $3 worth of sales tax, and everybody knows we're <laughs> tax-exempted office depot. Office depot, oh, really? Yeah, bastards. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have to tell them. Uh, uh, yeah, but I mean, we've got a card. This was to. Right. It's supposed to be automatic, but I can get all those. I've learned how to get those back right. off, so it's pretty easy. Yeah. Are you okay. clear of 42 degrees? Sorry about that. No, you're still on scene here. Uh, that's copy, I'll I talked to the hotel because I thought the rate they gave us was a discounted rate, and I thought they were doing it as taxes at, but I must have just thought that was all the the lodging tax at all. Well, there's, they, they, they broke it down, Green County tax, okay. local tax, and Ohio sales tax. So, okay. Glad you caught that. Any yeah, further? A lot of money. Any further comments about the payments this period? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Mr. Crockett. Yes. Mr. Meacher. Yes. 
Okay, correspondence. We'll make a quick review and split these up as we go. Um, a estimate from uh, DMS Inc. about the potential postcard mailing. We can talk about that. Uh, <coughs> uh, county memo from the Ohio Township Association. A message to and from the uh, public, the health department about uh, they put out a booklet of green spaces in in Green County, and apparently. Ever since they've done it, they've listed our contact information as uh, Miami Township org or something like that. That must be for Montgomery County or something, but it wasn't our email or it wasn't our website address. So um, I asked her to change that, and she did. We don't need that. We've already had that. We had a message from the Family Violence Prevention Center about October being Domestic Violence Month. Uh, in the past, we have uh, made. Um, proclamations to that extent. <coughs> we may or may not again. You make them, but you don't send them anywhere. So it's kind of like, I mean, we all support that. I don't, I don't know why we have to make a whole proclamation to agree that it's not a good idea for such thing. But we have done it, who knows. They probably just would appreciate it being read, um, you know, at a meeting and mm -hmm. We could broadcast do that. kind of thing. We could do that <coughs> since we go far and wide. Um, correspondence back and forth from MSA and USDA. We can briefly chat about that under new fire department business. Um, a response from uh, uh, Matt Butler at uh, PUCO about the potential uh, zoning conflict, as it were, for um, solar panels in the township, and what it appears is, in fact, if they get enough property under lease that would generate 500 megawatts per something, I don't know, constantly, I don't know what the deal is, then it, then it jumps from private to a public utility. That's the I, problem. Yeah, I think this is something that, that is worth... Uh, publicizing. Okay. Um, <coughs> maybe you know, just a maybe a press release saying we have received. We're aware of. Blah blah blah. Um, I mean, I could do it on my own, or we could do it as as a board. Whichever you prefer. Uh, Absolutely. I uh, part. My basic feeling is that there's an assumption that solar uh, that that solar should be centralized rather than on on barns and and uh, houses, mm -hmm. uh, and that instead we can hijack farmland for the solar. Uh, we can, but uh, my phrase hijack is, is a loaded, uh, loaded term. Um, <coughs> they have every right to go around trying to get farmers to uh, turn the land over to a solar field, but they're not trying to get their barns or their houses turned over, you know, the roofs. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I go to, uh, tomorrow I'll be at uh, Farm Science Review, uh, and there uh, the uh, vendors are promoting doing it on barns. Uh, you know, I have a personal position on it. Implicit in our zoning code is a position that it would not be appropriate in farmland. So I think it would be. Uh, if I drafted a letter, would you guys entertain? You know, next meeting. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Uh, okay. Mark. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Continuing, um, 
we had correspondence back and forth from uh, Township President um, regarding the potential of the Clifton Yellow Springs bike path. Uh, we had a um, series of correspondence back and forth regarding uh, purchasing a natural burial site. Uh, so, how did that happen? I'll have to ask you. Did you have a lady contact you last week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a lady call, but she's going to call badly. It's a good call. Mm -hmm. That could be. Um, well, there's some regional planning information, some MVRP, a lot of MVRP information, uh, more MVRP information. Apparently, that's about it. Fund status, revenue status, preparation status for the 17th, that'd be today. Any further correspondence in or out? We will move on to the fire department report. All right, Chief. Thank you. Since the last meeting of the board, there have been 31 EMS calls, eight fire calls, and we've done nine fire safety type things. Fire prevention, I guess I should say. Um, not a whole lot to report. The uh, stair climb went off well despite the rain. The wood seemed happy, and we raised just over 19,000 bucks. So that went very well. Um, and Eli got national coverage. Eli got a, at least local coverage. Who's Eli? <laughs> well, you you have to ask. He got Indianapolis coverage. Yeah. And here yeah. and Dayton. And yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's a seven year old who came and climbed with us. Where did he get the outfit? He climbed? Yeah. Uh, all of it? Yeah, 110 floors. Wow. Carrying a With flag. equipment? Oh, uh, yeah, a little gear on it. It was kind of cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> But he had it last year too. I yes. guess his parents bought it for him. Does he does he have a personal connection to the 9-11 tragedy? No, he <coughs> he lives in a uh, suburb of Indianapolis and he wanted to do the stair climb at the big fire trade show in, in Indianapolis last mm. year. Mm. So I met him then because they wouldn't let him do it for whatever, I guess, liability reasons or whatever. So I was like, well, came here. Why don't you <laughs> come in September or two? Yep. Thinking that they wouldn't. I mean, and then she sent me a message and said they were going to come. So this is the second year. Wow. And this year, so he was his, five, six. He's, well, he was six and now he's seven or seven and eight. I can't remember exactly. But, mm. And uh, his school district's public relations people put out a press release about him this year. And the two channels in Indianapolis picked it up. And wow. So he got to be on TV. <laughs> and we got a little press out of it too, which was yeah. nice. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, it was nice. Uh, and then we're now using the 2017 edition of the fire code, of the Ohio fire code. Mm -hmm. um, even though it was adopted in November, a weird way the state works with contracts, <coughs> it wasn't available to purchase until uh, mid-May. And then all our inspectors had to go through uh, code update training before they could, uh, before we could enforce it. So everyone has got that done. September 10th, we started using it. So. It's not that much different than the 2011 code, but there are some uh, uh, some significant administrative changes that the guys had to go through about citations and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, and that's it. I've got orientation this evening with three new volunteers, which is why you're down here. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. These are volunteers that you've already appointed, like Hannah. Yeah, they've all been avo avoided. They've all been avoided by the board. They've been appointed by the board already. So. Are you nervous? <laughs> but, and, um, day cool. I've got a lot of day cool on me. So. <laughs> yeah, this is the infirmary over here. Yeah. <laughs> Three new volunteers is big, is big news. Yeah. Yeah. 15% of our force. <laughs> Um, uh, the, 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 the fire on Glenview is not rekindled yet again. Nope. And no reports about cause or... It, you, you, two weeks ago you said that the state, uh, ins whatever it's called, inspector or whatever, was still investigating. Yeah, the Marshal's office has not released their final report yet. Um, typically, it, it can take a couple months, especially after a fatal. They're going to wait for 
all the toxicology reports to come back um, for the, the victim. And so that, that takes a while. And then they'll release, release their findings. I noticed uh, a little while ago uh, you had sent us a memo requesting uh, updating to the personnel manual to reflect changes uh, in your staffing. Uh, do you recall that? <laughs> it was a little while ago. Uh, it sounds like something I would have sent you. Okay. <laughs> it had to do with uh, updating Section 7.3 under vacation leave. Right. And uh, you suggested under Section 1A the following should be added to the accrual chart. Um, and you, you, you broke that out in um, years of service and accrual rates um, and how the vacation would be used. And then Section 7.8, sick leave, uh, was also to be amended to reflect uh, some of those uh, some of those changes also. It's all come back to me now. Uh, if, if, you, <laughs> if you still stand by those suggestions, uh, I would entertain a motion to adopt those changes, and I will see that they get put in the personnel manual. At the very least, I sit by them. Okay. <laughs> From my current position. <laughs> right. um, yeah, it just reflects... Um, the increase in the hours that those three guys, it would only affect our three 2448 guys. Mm -hmm. And I think I put it in there, it's based on um, what I got from Zinga Township's uh, yeah. manual. I'd this, like to be reminded. This is the memo details. of, of 7, 719 that, mm -hmm. that we all received and it's kind of been I'm sure I, sitting I around. read it carefully, but <laughs> I don't remember it. So basically this changes for the three guys who work an average of 212 hours every 26 days, they're working more hours than Dan or I or Danny unless there's a snowstorm. Um, so their accrual of leave, vacation, and sick should be a little bit modified to reflect those extra hours. Um, and that's what that was recommending, and it's based on the CBA from Zinga Township. Um, to a lesser degree, Beaver Creek Township as well, but theirs is... <laughs> Those guys got a heck of a contract, I'll tell you. Really? <laughs> um, and it was recommended. I spoke with uh, uh, I spoke with Prosecutor Hayden prior to her promotion, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, she recommended that change, and I also spoke with Beaver Creek Township's HR person, mm -hmm. who was instrumental in helping me with all this stuff. So uh, and that's I mean, it's a standard thing that townships and cities. Seeing the details here, I would move that we. Okay, we have a motion. And a second, then. And a second. Any further discussion regarding that uh, motion? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. And the only thing will be on Margaret's end to adjust how she does that in the UAN system. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just need to. So, so that'd be starting now, and then it's in effect. Yeah, it doesn't have to be <laughs> Even though it's not in the manual yet. But. Or whatever. So I need They to. say it's in effect. So. <laughs> Do you mind if I have that memo, Chris, so that I can do what needs to be done? <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, eventually, no. I'll need. Not this. Did it say it was a run today. What was that? Uh, they had three Sorry, calls today. Um, oh. All medical calls. Sorry, let me just put it there. Thank you. I'll need a copy. Uh, so I two here in town, one in here. Oh, okay. Well, That's yeah, I'll make a copy. Okay, thanks. I can, yeah, I can print you another one. Yeah, right. Okay, we, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Colin. Oh, that's it. What'd you say? Oh, I just said I can print you another one if you need it. No, before that. <laughs> you were telling Don about it. Oh, uh, Don just asked about a call, and I said we had three calls today, all medical. Two in town, one for Houston. Ooh. 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 Anything else for the fire department? I do. Uh, <laughs> Xenia Township's putting on some kind of training at their spot out by the fairground. Yes. Are you, you know about that? Yeah, I do. I think Denny's going to it. That's why I wondered, because it, it, I guess you, anybody can. And I, yeah. I said I didn't know if you guys were. Yeah. They're, they're going to tear cars, and they, they're building like four rooms. They're going to burn them. Yeah, they're setting things on fire. Right. It's a fire investigator seminar. So is Denny's our fire investigator. <laughs> I'm just curious. You know, they they yeah. said that's what they were building the things for. Admission of this. Other they people were invited, and I didn't know if you guys were. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tim okay. Dallas. Speaking of setting things on fire, um, uh -oh. would you consider 
either this fall or in the spring, uh, reburning the natural burial cemetery. Oh, sure. Yeah. Whichever you think is best for yeah, no training purposes and whatever. When do you usually burn? Spring? Usually yeah. early, late winter, early spring. We can do it in the fall, but fall's always so weird. Yeah. Around here. So I just. Mm -hmm. I think we did in the spring last year. It was a spring. I think it was a spring so last year? Two years ago. Two years, wow. Yeah, time flies and not burning stuff. <laughs> they say do it every other year. That's yeah. That's what we do. With you do stuff stuff in the Glen. I'm sorry. You do burns in the Glen. Uh, we have. The problem in the Glen is uh, that's not a problem. But, I mean, the problem for us is that they don't have a lot of prairie grass, so it doesn't burn very well. <coughs> um, we used to burn the prairie down by the old covered bridge, and there's a lot of milkweed in there that doesn't burn at all. Mm -hmm. So they don't really get the desired effect, so they they just mow instead. But we burn Morris Beans Prairies, uh, which are all prairie grass, uh, mm -hmm. the Marsh Prairie on High Road, the Mutcher Prairie at the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> Mutcher Prairie. <laughs> and that's it. We used to do one behind the YSI, but I think the person who maintained the prairie uh, retired, and I don't think anyone else cares. <laughs> well, maybe I'm wrong, but... <laughs> okay, anything else then for the fire department? Okay, we'll move to new firehouse report. I have one bit of new new firehouse report information. Uh, as <coughs> everyone recalls, um, let me get the date set. On September 10th, we received a copy of a, a letter a letter of comments from USDA architects to the uh, MSA architects. Uh, expressing concerns that they had uh, on the proposed new bid specifications that we intend to uh, submit to the public on October 2nd, I believe, first for the first time uh, to be run uh, publicly for consecutive weeks and uh, hopefully opening bids on uh, October 30th at 2 o'clock here. And so they had a whole few pages of, of comments and concerns that they went through and wanted things to be all redesigned and rethought out and repriced and and I just said to myself, oh, <laughs> I can't do this again. But we had a, a phone call today, a conference call between the uh, architects, uh, USDA, World Development Director, Mr. Ashley Kelly, and the, uh, the head of the uh, architects, the USD architects in Columbus, Mr. Mike Davis, I believe it is, but, and they were all on the line. And it comes to find out that virtually all the concerns that they expressed in this letter <coughs> were almost the exact same concerns they expressed in a, in a comment letter of April 4th prior to our first bid, and all of those concerns were addressed uh, by MSA architects back to Mr. Davis at the time, and they signed off on them at the time, and so therefore we put the bids out. And now it came back with, with many of the same concerns, and as we went through all of those concerns, to make a long story short, uh, the, everyone seemed to agree that those concerns were basically addressed the first time around. There were a couple of very minor notations and one small drawing that had to be changed on a flashing from the metal roof and to the parapet wall and something or another. But other than that, those minor changes are going to be reflected in a response letter from MSA to the USDA, and then we hope in <coughs> short order we'll then get that okay to send those bids out uh, publicly. So all that will start to roll in October. Yeah. Well, uh, I know it's not my place, but thank you for reviewing the letter, the previous letter, mm -hmm. and comparing it to the current letter, and letting them know that they were <clears throat> that everything was okay. Can, can I form. submit the bill for all the antacids <laughs> <laughs> for the past ten days? Well, and of course we couldn't find these people because they were all on vacation, you know. Oh. So we had to sit yeah, there. Yeah, okay, yeah. You, and yeah, yeah acids and maybe, you know, vacation. Anyway. <laughs> what were you going to say, Mark? And I was going to say that uh, as a consequence, there's no meeting tomorrow. Right. 
yeah, that was that that wasn't set in stone. That was original mm -hmm. request mm -hmm. from USDA, um, and that got that got canceled today. So anyway, and that's about it for that. So if there is there any other new firehouse report information um, concerns comments. Are they going to cover the cost of the NA assets? Well, you can always submit. <laughs> um, we, speaking of which, I, I guess I, uh, it, I guess it's incumbent upon me to report um, and request an agreement. And we don't, I'm not sure if we need all of those things, but over time, uh, past. Uh, this year, I don't know, maybe late last year, we used the we used the services, the generous services of Bath Township, uh, their personnel and equipment to haul substantial amounts of uh, concrete to asphalt, general nasty stuff out of the site for the new firehouse in, in preparation for obviously for the building, and that required uh, lots of time and lots of diesel fuel and, and maybe not antacids, but Big, big max. <laughs> anyway, so um, Bath Township in, in, in the in the past had kind of floated the idea that, well, they they're happy to help us out, but if it gets to the point where they're spending most of their days and most of their weeks over here, <laughs> running those trucks back and forth, you know, maybe they could send us a bill for some amount of money for services. Mm -hmm. And certainly we said, yes, absolutely, please do. We'd be happy to uh, get that from you. Well, in the past couple of months, they've, they've thought about it, and they've thought about it, and they couldn't really come to some figure that they liked. And then they thought, well, you know, we help them, they help us, maybe we should just, you know, call it even. And, uh, and I had a conversation uh, about that at actually the last trustee association meeting again. With their trustee and fiscal officer, and you know, I just didn't feel. I mean, that was very nice of them to say that, uh, but I felt like you know we need to pay our own way as we go along here, and that was, in my opinion, that was over and above uh, the call of mutual help. You know, it wasn't like we took a tree, <coughs> took a tree down or we're uh, put a little cold patch on or, or or doing the wedging that sort of stuff. And we do help them, they help us, but they store our salt for us for nothing. Uh, they, they buy it and store it, and it's, you know, it's, been a, it's been a real help for that. Sure. And based on the reports for what this winter might be, it <laughs> might be a good service, yeah. We've got salt there. Yeah. And, yeah. So anyway, I kind of made an executive decision, as I want to do, to um, uh, going to, I prepared an invoice, and we have, it is in these bills, because I didn't want it to wait just because I figured strike while the fire's hot, um, for $2,000 to send them for, uh, we're going to call this uh, equipment rental, basically, because I think <coughs> it gets a little messy when you're re reimbursing them for personnel time, because then, you know, does it come off their time sheets? Does it, you know, where does that payroll go? Is it W-2 to, to an employee? And yet it's, you know, there were different employees. I uh, figured just one blanket, you know, generic equipment rental for the for the pre preparation of the site uh, would cover. So that's what I did. Um, I, I hope you will Sounds agree. good to me. All right. So then, mm -hmm. done. That's first and second? Or do you mean? No. Yeah. Well, it sounds like we already authorized it in the... No, but... Well, it's okay. Is it already good. included in one of these? Yes. Uh -huh. It's actually the last one. Capital project. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, if, you want, if you want to confirm that, I'll make a motion right, fine. approving that. There's a motion. Uh, is there a second? Yeah. Okay, any further I'll discussion second. regarding that motion? Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Beecher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. I hope you're all right with that number. I'm going to find that number. Okay. Fuel. Yeah. I think they were getting the fuel and they had a minor breakdown. <laughs> yeah, that's a few, few hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. We would have broke down even if it wasn't working for us, but it, it just happened to do well overall. Yeah. So mm -hmm. It kind of helps him out a little bit. Yeah. One of the things I've been impressed with as I learn about the trustee world is 
the reciprocity the interrelation between the townships. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think there's an yeah. awful lot more of that than there is village to village or mm -hmm. city to city. Mm -hmm. a lot more, uh, well, we help the village sometimes. I mean, you know, yeah, Yellow Springs. Like between like seniors <coughs> and friends working together, that's, yeah, yeah. we do a little more. It works out, it helps everybody out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything okay. else for the new firehouse report, department? Hey, none, let's move to the cemetery. Okay. I wasn't at the last meeting, but we've been pretty busy at the cemetery. We had five burials, four full burials and an ashes. And we'll have another full burial Saturday at Glen Forest. Mm -hmm. So we've been pretty busy. Okay. Um, quickly, briefly, while we're on that, uh, you gave me the uh, list of the burials that you had. Right, the one room on my time sheet. So yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. um, did this include the Sunday one, or was that previous to that? It's it, Lance Grohl. Okay. Those, that one and, and, and Acton were actually before the last meeting. Uh -huh. That was a Saturday and yeah. a yeah, Sunday one. Mm -hmm. uh, I need burial permits for these. There, I, he's, got I, I've, I've got all, he's, I've got like five or the six only, to that I'm going to do tomorrow. <laughs> However many he's given me. I give you four because I have nothing for Grohl. They had no paperwork for him. <coughs> okay. I mean, I know you, I, I've got one in the mail guy. last week. I've got a, not not a burial, but a, um, the, anyway, yeah. It's, the permits I'm, I'm doing, uh, there's a, I've got probably five deeds at least to write tomorrow. So. Well, I mean, the burial permits <laughs> were there today. I've got it, I've got it all. With the checks and stuff. I've got a bunch of stuff in my drawer. I've collected and, okay. you know, But the, like, I'll roll it, they, no, they had no paperwork. Right. I just go off his name. Yeah. And, and that happens with ashes quite often because sometimes it, we don't get them for a year. Right. You know. Yeah, I, I understand. And um, I tell the people I'd like to if they do. Yeah. And she just <coughs> bring it or do that. The burial of uh, the Kirshner woman, uh, section I, lot seven, grade Maybe. seven. Grade seven. Um, there is a listing for a burial there, uh, unmarked, from the 40s. I I'd let you know. They have this, her husband had those two graves. Somebody's listed as being buried there? Mm -hmm. I didn't find anybody. Good. <laughs> Not even Asha, though. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, that was, I mean, that was my concern. And I probed it. Because I had to find out where the people were around her. Yeah. And it was tight. We had to take a, we had to take a stone out. What? A base. So I had to put a base, I had to take a base out to put her in there. What was the listing? Who was the listing? Uh, uh, you're, you're bringing up an issue that maybe, maybe isn't really a meeting issue. But. Well, uh, not really, but I, you know, that's, I just had that information because I was just putting it into the computer. Uh, somewhere in, in the records, and it could have been a million different places, including just, well, it wasn't walking the stones because there is no stones for this person. So I got that off of some old burial record, you know, uh, the logs, the who knows what from the past. And this is from 1943, I think it was, so this is quite old, mm -hmm. uh, that somebody is marked in that, in that grave site, so. That, that somebody else owns. Yeah, it's actually a family member, the last name's the same. Uh, it's, it's not the one that's on the deed, mm -hmm. but it is. It, and it doesn't say, you know, mm -hmm. a genealogical relationship. So, so anyway, I was just, Thought I'd bring that up. Um, <laughs> it's important. Could be in a different grave on the same lot. Could just be listed wrong. Could be. No, if you didn't find anything. I'm finding mine, and, and but he's right. They're all full. Him. I mean, all of those, all of those, everything in that. But they were listed in the book as, as that's where they go because uh -huh. he's there, and then she was to be. Yeah. Got gotcha. seven. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not questioning. I'm just saying. <laughs> It's just one of those odd little things, you know, that, come, that comes up. Um, you, when are you going to take the flags out off of Clifton? Or Soon. I mean, to do it, have to go over and done it, and then talk to them. What do you mean, take the flags or out? Or out on the graves on the flag holders. I usually don't leave them out past the point of Where's your employee, Connor Lewis? In school. 
<laughs> Where is he on? What's Saturday? Well, what's I'm gone. I can have him. What's the flag the thing? Veterans. The flags that we put out on the flag orders for Memorial Day. For Veterans Day, but Memorial Day. Veterans Day is coming. <coughs> you want to leave them till then? I, I've done that one year. Nope, they, huh? they, they pretty much ruined them. <laughs> being out that long. Huh? Anyway, I was, I was at Clifton Cemetery today. I could have taken the flags up. You do it tomorrow. Here's me. Except tomorrow I'm going to be away. I can put our Mr. Lewis to taking them down. I just, you know, <laughs> just kind of Grease the wheels, that's all. Okay. Um, anything else for the cemeteries? They're going to do that approach on Wednesday. I'm going to pair it out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. so I have to what are you going to do with it? Hmm? What are you going to do with it? Take the pit. It's concrete. All right. No black it's still, it's still like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they were just out because he called me the other day. I wanted to know when we were going to burn it because I didn't see it in the meeting with someone with the dress. But what are you guys I talking about? <laughs> I'm missing Josh something. Yeah. You, you guys are having a, a private conversation. No, it's public. Uh, the approach at the cemetery needs to be replaced. It's okay. Crumbled. Remember, we talked about that a couple. Of and weeks I'm going to okay. take it out. That saved us four hundred bucks by taking it out and getting rid of it, which we can dump that stuff at our pit. We can't dump blacktop or metal. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on tomorrow. And then no poor women. You can't burn it, but uh, you can dump it there. Well, we can burn a pit. No, I mean, the asphalt. you can't burn the, well, the, the concrete. No, it's for fill. The property owner wants that eventually filled up. Right. Mm -hmm. So you can turn it into farmland. Mm -hmm. You turn it into mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It'll be a while. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all I have. I got to meet some guys there. Some guy tomorrow at ten o'clock there wants to purchase a grave. Mm -hmm. So I had a lady call today, ask about if we do pods in the natural burial area. And I said, you know, because the tree grows. Right. What's a pod? I guess they put you in the fetal position and bury you in like in a pod, oh. like an egg or something. Oh. And then from that, a tree grows. Well, they put a seed in there with you. Oh. And I said, no, we don't. Oh. Hmm. Hopefully I'll sell something more. <clears throat> um, I guess before we move along, that, that brings us to the... Uh, uh, what was the, all the expense at the cemetery? Roger? Yeah. Hensley's. Yeah. 17000 No, that's... That's the road department. I, I figured oh. that. I was wondering yeah. what the expense was for the cemetery. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Roger yeah. for a road. Yes. Mm -hmm. You had asked out at the last meeting. I don't know if you have reviewed that. I have, I have reviewed but, that. Um, <coughs> mailing proposal. Mm -hmm. This is would ends up being uh, we would send about 1,792 postcards out to uh, residents of the unincorporated area in Miami Township, notifying them of the ability to search uh, township cemeteries for burials. Uh, cost is. Broken down, uh, the production is 527.58, uh, postage is uh, 198.91, and then there's a setup charge um, somewhere around $150, I think he said, to do the artwork, the actual design of what will be sent out. Uh, it's, it's my fiscal officer in me is going, mm, I'm not sure, sure, but total is a roughly eight. 50 maybe depends on what the um, what the artwork charge would be. Under a thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, of course, you know, couldn't do it ourselves for that. Um, still would have liked it to be less. Don't know any other way to get that information to in front of residents. The Yale Springs News isn't exactly efficient in that way. It doesn't it doesn't, doesn't, the doesn't go that far out. People, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This I, I'm the, comfortable with this. I, I've become uh, a huge fan of the cemetery information that we've got. Well, this would cover the area north of Clifton uh, and around it also. So it would benefit Clifton Cemetery, hopefully. 
Um, and there, there you've entered Clifton in there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Clifton yeah, Center. So. <coughs> uh, I'm not asking for a contribution from Clifton Cemetery Board, um, necessarily. <laughs> but, you know, you never know. It just happened to get a few letters, you know? You might have a couple of letters, you'd have to get the Cemetery Board together. <laughs> So I have I have one in favor. I'll make a motion. Right. Authorize its expenditure, second, making a mailing. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Um, hearing none, may we vote, please. Yes, Mr. Hollister. Yes. Mr. Meacher. Yes. Mr. Crockett. Yes. Um, as the fiscal officer, my question is. Since we have two cemeteries that this is representing, four. Since we have four cemeteries that this is representing, mm -hmm. we have two funds though, two cemeteries with cash in them. Mm -hmm. Should I split it or do one third, two thirds, given the sizes, or in, how would you like? In, which in who wants to pay 22 for this? Twenty-two or twenty-three years. I don't think we've ever spent a dime out of the, mm -hmm. that little Clifton cemetery fund. I would be more than happy <laughs> to uh, use it. And all of that. Whatever, you, wherever you feel it most appropriate. Remind me which four. Well, there's Clifton, Grinnell. There's a Grinnell Cemetery. Are you thinking of that one? Mm -hmm. And then um, Glen Four Cemetery, and then there's one on in the road. On um, Pleasant High Road. Road. Pleasant Grange. High, High Road, Grange. right? Granger Grove. Well, I, I well but it's on High Grove. Grove. Well, one's the Ch Pleasant Gr Grange Church or Pleasant Grove Church, Pleasant and the Grove cemetery Church. is either whatever the other one. I always is. thought it was Pleasant Grove. Yes, yeah, Pleasant Grove. It's on. See, it's on. Um, it's on High, High Road. West, West Eden. Don. Right where um, <laughs> East Eden Road comes in and then jogs on High Road, and there's a church right there. There's a little cemetery right there too. Yes. It's in the township. Mm -hmm. Us. And it's in our records. Yep. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, so are you saying 50%? No, all of it. He was, he would, you know, maybe Clifton Cemetery. It's, it's like 70 30. I mean, that's how we've done 70 30? Yeah. In the past. For like, remember, we made the agreement 70 30 for the yearly charge for the burial uh, for the software company. Uh, no, but I, but I, I'm glad you do. And I can do, we'll do it again. <laughs> we'll do it again. Okay, when, you, when we get yeah. there. Yes, it's All in right. the minutes. And, and, anything else? You got it right there. Moving to the uh, uh, road department. Road department. <laughs> okay, where will we start? The man on Carroll Drive with the culvert problem. Mark something. On what road? Carol. Carol. He, he, he stopped by the other day and wanted to know if he bought the pipe, would we put it in? So I don't think we can do that. So that was all I needed to ask about that. I told him, yeah. That's because well, if I buy the pipe, I said, it would go under the road or what? Under his driveway. Under his driveway. So we can't do that. We can tell him what kind of pipe to put in, which I did. But we can't do it for him. He don't know what it is to do. He said I would bring up the meeting, and so I'll let him know the answer. So. Yeah, there's just no real easy way to wiggle that in. It well, just, we we just, don't do them. I mean, right. tell you what to put in there, but we can't do it. Next thing you're doing everybody else's. Right. right. So the other is Joe Staggs has asked. There's a few stumps left on North River mm -hmm. in his stretch, and he mm -hmm. wanted to know if he could get them out. Well, I can't pull them out. Phone lines right there. So he, he asked about grinding. If we would be interested in maybe renting the grinder and taking care of them for him. Are they out of the way? We took a bunch out, but the phone line runs in <coughs> where they, they are down here. It runs right into them, and I can't, I can't take a chance of tearing up a phone line, even with the locator. So his question was could we grind them? So we could grind them off just ground level. Right grass grew up over. But he wanted to know, would we be willing to rent a grinder and take care of that? What, what do you think? We would both rent and do the work. Okay. I, I don't see that the stumps are a, are a 
danger to our traffic on that road. I don't think so. It's more of the drainage. And that's in the village. That's out of the village. Everything, sure. everything past the village limits. Everything out to that point is, is taken care of. It's the ones from there to that next culvert. And it drains, and it'll probably drain a little faster. But I told him I'd ask because I don't, I don't, I can't take them out with the thing. And they're kind of on the inside. They're in our easement, but they're kind of on the inside of the bottom of the ditch. So. Which road is this? North River. North River Road. We've never taken stuffs out. I, and, you know, I love Joel, but it's still, I just can't justify spending that kind of money. Yeah, I made sure I told him I'd talk to you about it. That's right. so. Yeah, let's say no. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, unless there's a real compelling reason that, I, that I'm missing. Well, no, it's mainly, it might help the drainage a little bit more, but I think more cosmetic, so it can be mowed, you know, more like what, what he's got taken care of now. So, okay, that's all I need to know about that. I, myself, will be visiting the Farm Science Review on Wednesday. I'll be there tomorrow. Go Wednesday. I can talk to a couple people. Some idea ballpark prices. So. Talk to John Deere people. And uh, Tim Cannon, trying to look him up. What what kinds of things okay. do you do you look yeah. at at the Farm Science Review? Uh, I look at the, the equipment, uh, you know, bush hogs, uh, bobcat updates, uh, tractors, anything new, something we could use, that might benefit us. Hmm. It's kind of interesting stuff up there, really. A lot of stuff <laughs> doesn't pertain to us, but there's a lot that does. I like to go. I always hit the bobcat. <laughs> you went last year. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> go, I mean, you go every year. Kinda. I haven't been in redundant. June and I went. Like, this is three years ago, I think. June yeah. and I went. From there. Two years ago, whenever we bought the excavator. Mm -hmm. That year we went. Mm -hmm. Kind of like to talk to him and see what, what he's got <coughs> in, in, our, in our ballpark. Mm -hmm. so. I go to the. Uh, Coalition of <coughs> Land Trust uh, has a table down there. But I walk around and I'm impressed with the uh, solar and wind stuff that, you know, the vendors, <coughs> what are farmers buying? Where's <coughs> the the mandatory stop is Schmidt's. <laughs> As I have sausage. Don't gotta eat. Bahama Mama. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we have a resolution to adopt. I'm yeah. sure you know. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay. What else you got? Anything? Uh, the tractor's fixed and all. We'll get back out and finish trimming soon. This week. Right tomorrow afternoon once I got the thing to work here. Remind us again your vacation schedule? Uh, October 20. Second to November fifth. Oh, I thought it was earlier. Huh. Yep. Okay. I'm usually at. Uh, I'm usually down where Florence just went yep. through about this time of year. Yep. Thank goodness we're not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll assume there'll be no snow at that. <coughs> there will be at one point. At one place I go to uh, out west. No, I mean no <laughs> snow here. Oh, at that time, I think we're going to never know. What else, anything? Mm, no, sir. Did you ever throw dirt on Scott Hammond's ditch or uh, tire tracks or whatever the deal was? No, I did not. Huh? No, I did not. Well, it's but I will. Grown over in grass now, so I don't know. Well, if it's, it's still, still if it's still drop off, I need to do something. Mm -hmm. so. um, I'll write that down. There's that substantial tree on Grinnell Circle just before it comes back into Glen Drive before it goes down the hill. I can't remember the, the dead name. the dead uh, ace trees. Yeah. Two of them standing there. And you know what the way they're leaning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe we ought to put them on the list yeah. when he makes out. I've had two people want to, oh, you want them to take them down? I've had two people say, oh, I'll take them down for the wood. I was like, fine. And they're still standing. But take them down. Oh, so, you said you Two people you have, have offered to, yeah. to take them for the firewood, and I said, you're more than welcome. Well, <laughs> maybe sometime before the weather gets bad, you know, and yeah, they could, potentially come they've down. They've been dead for three years or yeah. something. Yeah. I'll do that. Leave the stumps though. 
Right. If you posted on Facebook that we were taking bids, then maybe we'd get people to cut them right away. You mean to pay us to take down the tree? Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I know you are. You said people want to take them down I've for the wood. I've had two offers that they'd take them down for the wood. you start talking about it, they might respond. You never look at it that way. <laughs> you do that? Well, you, you know the names of the people. I don't know what the rules are. But you know the names of the people who said they would mm -hmm. like to take the wood. So you might this would be a way of triggering them. So hurry up and come again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what is the what's the legality of that? Uh, we would consider it junk that we had to get rid of. Someone else is considering it something valuable that they want well, it's, firewood. It's yeah. not a matter of junk. <coughs> it's a matter of um, labor and equipment. Because it will certain amount of liability in it too. Yeah. yeah yes. Probably. It would definitely cost us. Actually, I like this. I like this situation. Well, I said to both the people that have offered, I said, <laughs> I need to know so I can be here so you don't tear up my room when you drop the truth. <laughs> you know, I'd like to at least. What is the legality? Let's say, forget the Facebook price thing. What's the legality? You know, someone says, I want to take that tree down. And I think we'd have to ask Prosecutor DeWine. Because I'm not comfortable deciding what our, uh, what our liability would be. So, I just don't know. But, but it would be saving us time and labor. The labor. Uh, so, there's power lines there behind um, them, and if they went that way, which they should, so be able to wait to it's not yeah, just do it not right. just the liability right. the right. procedure. Could, you know, you know, if there are two different people who want the wood, what do you? Why do you give it to one person, not the other? Well, either one could have it. Whichever one gets there first is first come, first serve. I'm more concerned about the person who cuts their leg off and then decides mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I was doing it for the township. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or if there's power lines and it goes the wrong way. Or well, that's on them. Maybe on us if we don't. Yeah. I think it. I think it's. I think it's worth pursuing this question. Well, well get go for it. <laughs> so I will. Uh, I should call our consulting prosecutor. Yep. Yeah. I will do that. All right. I'll make no move until I hear an answer. So it's. What's her name? Alice Dorn. Alice Dorn. So, we have Resolution 2018-41 before us. This is the Annual Report of Township Roads for, for 18. Um, they seem to be in correct order and, uh, and mileage. No so, changes? Uh, I, we know I haven't been changes for the roads this year. Uh, Dan, unless you decided there's the roads there you don't want anymore. Or oh, no, no, I'll keep them all. No, keep did, you, them. did you look at it? Did I look at it? For the heck of it. I think one year you looked at it and thought there was a mileage difference or something. I think that was question was on Jacoby, wasn't it? I don't know. It's 14,634. I think that's what. On Jacoby? No, that's total. No, total. Oh, our mileage? Mm -hmm. I think that's probably right. I think. I think we're good. Is there a motion to approve Resolution 2018 41, <laughs> Annual Report of Township Roads? I'll make that motion. Mr. Crockett moved. Second. Mr. College second. Any further discussion regarding this resolution? Hearing none, move vote, please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. So, Mr. John Hancock there. Uh, anything else for the You have an inventory list for the equipment. There was a note in my box about the inventory list. We have to turn it in by January 7th. Equipment. Township equipment. We do well, every year. What I, what, yeah, the township equipment that they always ask for is our office equipment that they bring out. No, they we need to know what we have if we've added or 
I have a, I have a list that, but I can add whatever. We you want have. to subtract the dump truck in the van this time. I don't know if I have that on the list, so we need to. It's on the insurance. Well, I've got a, I have, there was a note from Bob, Uncle Bob. About okay, well, I haven't seen it, so. <laughs> but there was, it said the, the, the attached list, and there was no list, so I don't know what we turn into him. <coughs> I'll look at it tomorrow. Did you, did you happen to contact Otarma and tell, have them take those two vehicles off? Oh, what, that we just sold? No, I did not. Those would come oh. off our inventory list, that's what. Yeah. That's yeah. the ones you're talking about? Right. Okay, all right, I'll make a note on that part. Oh. I don't have all right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Anything else for roads, gentlemen? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, we have two resolutions before us. Uh, I've got one here. All right, well. This is, this is the other. Yeah. I, it says on your agenda, Don, to see table. This is the table. Yeah. There were, there was on the, it's, it's our, it's an annual um, resolution that um, follows the tax budget public hearing. And after they go, after they do the public hearing, then they go ahead and set our rates and what we can expect from our, you know, property tax generated revenues for 2019. And that's what this resolution does is say that we accept what they've said what they've get the figures that they've given us and we're you know we concur and and uh, and, uh, and that they will make changes if they need to and so forth and so on but this is an annual dealio you want to uh, present resolution 2018-43 in the meantime uh, and, oh yeah sure and then there's 20, Resolution 2018-43, which is um, an amendment of permanent appropriations. Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township. Now, therefore, the trustees authorize amendments to the following permanent appropriations. In the general fund, I increased contracted services by $1,000. And hold on to your hats. I increased mm -hmm. Ohio Police and Fire Pension and the Fire Fund by $50,070. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Mr. Packer moved, Ms. Hollis second. Any further discussion on that? What yes. happened? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the um, hiring of the full-time folks um, means that by law they are to be pensioned and it's very expensive. So there's a fifty thousand dollar increase just in four months. And what's that going to do to our budget? It's going to affect it. <laughs> it's going to increase it. <coughs> on that note, um, it's going to increase our expenses. Obviously, um, well, the fire department. Um, the money was is there. Was there? I mean, I can't. I can't. Uh, um, and I can't make an amend. I can't amend and add more money to a line item if the cash isn't there. <clears throat> the system won't even let you do it. Thank you for that. I mean, some people probably would. It's for that's for obvious reasons. Anyway, um, at at the uh, tax budget public hearing, um, Auditor Graham did mention that. The levy, the special, you know, 2191, which is all levy generated funds, um, is running tight. And he noted that our projection for salary increases for 2019. And that's when um, this levy will also be expiring and need to basically be put to the voters again. And so he said, one might want to consider raising the actual levy percentage to generate some more money. I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to be a huge change, but it's. I think it's been, no, I think maybe, did we change it a few, a few le votes ago? Not, not, I don't think our last cycle, but maybe the year, be the maybe like 10 years ago, possibly. Um, we had that, that we had that very small 
levy that we passed, and then the next time we incorporated it into the uh, into the main one, mm -hmm. we put the two of them together. Right. So um, that's that's, that's that's coming. We'll yeah. Let, let's, I'm, so I'm, yeah I'm just saying. Let's do that when we. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, I you know I just well I, I need to tell you what the auditor said. Mm -hmm. So I just did. Thank you. Um, I don't think we got a motion yet. It's been moved and seconded. Oh. That was our discussion. I, I think and, that I, and I was just basically swallowing. <laughs> I know, I know. Me too when I saw that number. I didn't get a printout this period on the expenditures for uh, 2191. You didn't? No. So what's the OPNF live now? Oh, um, well, I'd had $4,000 left in it when I went to cut the um, the monthly check, and the check was 11, th that I needed $11,000 in there. What, what have we budgeted for the year? I don't have that paper, I don't have that. You, you didn't get the appropriations thing? Mm -hmm. Right here? Oh, you didn't have fire. Look at my Where'd it go? You don't believe me, do you? I don't. <laughs> Did you guys get one? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's look at somebody else's head. I don't have that exact number right in front of me. You're talking about the special fire letter? No, 2191. <coughs> Nobody got one. Um, you know, I'm sorry. 2191? Yeah, somehow it, no, this is revenues. It's not here. That's so weird. Well, okay, well, I can tell you tomorrow, or I can tell you shortly. Okay, I can go upstairs and get it right now if you want me to. No, it's not going to change anything. Any further discussion regarding the adoption of that resolution? Hearing none, maybe we vote please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. <coughs> Mr. Meacher? Yes. We now have before us resolution 20, 2018 42. Right. Uh, which is the uh, official certificate of amended resources as presented by the county. Um, the information is here to have been reviewed from September 6, 2018. So we've got 11 days to review it. Uh, if there's no further comment, I entertain, entertain a motion to adopt 2018-42. I would make that motion. Mm -hmm. I'll second it. And Mr. Crackapoo and Mr. Hollister and second. this any further discussion? Yeah, well, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to clarify. This is accepting the auditor's uh, determination of, of of the tax rates based on our needs. our needs. Right, right. You, you basically you need to when I go to the within the authorized broader. Tax they, amount. they want you to show them that you need the money that they're collecting for from the public for you. Okay. Yep. Okay. So. No further discussion. May we go, please. Mr. Mutcher. Yes. Mr. Crockett. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. I think that uh, that Don is uh, not aware of the fact that we go through that process that we have to justify to the county the taxes collected. Otherwise, okay. they will reduce it. They, yeah, they could. So just they because it's voted doesn't <coughs> mean we collect it. Mm -hmm. Right, because we don't collect it. The county give it, and the county take it away. <laughs> uh, just briefly, I wanted to mention uh, where we stand revenue-wise. Uh, pretty good shape. We've received 105% of our budget for general property tax, uh, so that's a $4,000 increase over what was estimated, what was budgeted. Uh, we also increased uh, our uh, interest revenue by 4175 over what we had had budgeted, um, so that's a that's a good set of numbers. Um, Road and Bridge uh, is falling short. Uh, they're going to uh, we're six thousand three hundred short of what was what was budgeted. Um, we're not done yet, though. 
Well, really? Look, we're we're not getting another distribution. Oh, right. <coughs> um, cemetery, uh, not, we're 4,000 over what, what, what we budgeted, which is good. That's 133% of uh, revenues received. Um, it's a good thing we sell those vehicles. <laughs> uh, fire is uh, 12,000 12, uh, over, uh, over estimate, uh, which is good. They always seem to come a little bit higher. Um, we are already exceeded the final budget for the uh, ambulance and EMS by 11,000, uh, and that will increase towards the end of the year. So mm -hmm. that could end up being substantially more than what we've done this So that's that's the good news. Right. We like good news. The and then, well, e and F, not so much the good news. I don't think I'm going to put that in the good news pile. Um, um, wait, what? Say that again. The, the OPNF, the 50,000 oh, yes. Yeah, that's I mean, good news. <laughs> um, um, I just wanted to <clears throat> mention to everybody that we've been receiving property tax assessments bills for the um, 101 Xenia Avenue property, and I have been in contact <clears throat> with the Green County Treasurer. And had and apply and filled out the information for application for real estate property tax exemption. Um, I did that when we first got a bill, which was whenever that was, um, and oh yeah, in February. <laughs> and it's uh, and I followed up on that, and because then we got another set of bills and so forth. And I've been speaking to a woman at the county auditor's office who is. They're working on it and working with the state, and she's assured me that they're doing it. They know of the situation. They know, every, you know, everything that's going on, and <clears throat> it just is taking a while for the state level to actually issue the exemption. So, just so you know, in case you're wondering where those, where, you know, because where the what's going on with that? Okay. So I've got them all right here. So. Um, not really wondering because we did this. We went through this exact same thing when uh, we obtained the Grinnell Mill, and uh, they, they and it wasn't it wasn't expeditious at all. No, it, and they said this might take three or four years, mm -hmm. um, but they also said you don't have to pay the taxes. You know, by law, it's under it's it's on abatement, it's on hold, or something like that. The the, the requirement to pay the tax is is on hold while it's being reviewed. So, right. The last time I talked to her was um, the end of July, and she uh, she said that she said it's when you called just now because she was talking to Auditor uh, Graham and they were going to speak with somebody from the state and you know and she gave me every indication that it's right there. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the way it was a few years ago. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, I just want to let you know that uh, you know I am yeah. aware of it and have been trying to follow up with it and so forth. So. Okay. Thank you. Uh, anything further from the fiscal officer? Mm -mm. Uh, no. Zoning this period, uh, standing reports, uh, MVRPC. Um, um, uh, we did meet uh, <coughs> earlier this month, and a lot of informative stuff on uh, roads and transportation and something that I can't remember what it was. Um, Yeah, a great presentation about the Miami Valley Military Affairs Association, which I knew nothing about, but well, that's an impressive group. Miami Valley Military. Yeah, remember that was the, the, yeah. the one. But what was military up, something? Military really? Affairs Association. Okay, thank you. And their strategic impact. <coughs> um, the uh, RPCC meets tomorrow, so we'll have more information about that as we go along. I printed out an agenda and there's a, like a Sugar Creek Township zoning review and some budgetary stuff so it doesn't seem to be earth shattering interesting. Um, Mark, anything going on with the Senior Center for um, the Economic Sustainability Committee? I met with the, um, well actually I, I called both entities. Mm -hmm. Uh, Suzanne Patterson and uh, the uh, 
person in charge of the uh, Economic Sustainability Committee, mm -hmm. and um, they were supposed to send a, uh, well, Suzanne was supposed to have Home Inc. give me a call, and so I've been waiting on that, and um, the um, director of the Economic Sustainability was supposed to send information to us, and I didn't see that in the well, from that last meeting that we overlap between mm -hmm. us and them, yeah. the Wednesday meeting, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, you said they're pretty good about getting that out, aren't they? Mm -hmm. huh. yeah. Somebody dropped the ball over there. But at any rate, I'm waiting for that. So you don't know what the ne next meeting scheduled is? Okay. Uh, the next, it goes back to normal. So I'm thinking that it's the first Wednesday. No. You haven't had a cemetery board meeting, I don't think, right? There's not been a, nothing formal. I did walk through the cemetery with someone from Clifton, but it, it's uh, nothing today, but nothing of a formal nature. It's just things I'll talk to Dan about. In theory, they're generally held quarterly. You know, so, I don't know if you have that in your mind for the schedule for for having them or not. Do we usually call them? Yes, I do. <laughs> I am the editor. I am I'll, the editor. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about that. Well, I can just go ahead and try and That's schedule one. If you, if you want me to try and schedule one, I will. I can just tell me to do that and I'll work on that. My, my sense is that there's potential for uh, volunteer engagement. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want me to get more meetings together, Don, I will. Fix up stuff. You want me to do that? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll plan a meeting. Mm -hmm. All right. Any new business this evening? And the Grinnell Mill is fine, isn't it? It is. I was just there <laughs> yesterday. It actually looks better. I wrote that fine. down there, even though you didn't say it. <laughs> Somebody does one heck of a job keeping that place out. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. I, know it's not, I mean, I know Susie's in charge of it, but Housekeeping. who's ever doing it does mm -hmm. one heck of a job. Awesome. It looks like a page out of Better Homes and Mills. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Old Mill News. But, sorry, I interrupted. And the old business. I think we've covered whatever might be old is now gone. Any further information or stuff for the board. Couldn't think of that right word. Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. And we are adjourned. Do you have the time by chance? It is 8-12.